sorry, continuing on, ugh, <clears throat> continuing on with, um, part one, I had no idea I would run this long, I apologize, people, um, yeah, make sure that your pets, like, when you run them in competitions, make sure they know to bring the frisbee back to you, make sure that you kind of got an idea on their pace if you're doing the, oh yeah, there's a lure thing that you can do, um, it's called lure coursing, oh, they're off the screen, sorry, lure coursing, and, um, you kind of reel this little lure and you have your dog chase it and stuff. You have to try to make sure that you get it close enough to them so that they run faster. But you can't get it too close to them so that they, um, like, will pounce on it and then they'll sit there and chew on it and eating up a ton of time and stuff because it's a race. Um, and you want to make sure that you don't have it too far away from them because otherwise they're going to lose sight of it or they're not going to be as apt to run. They're just like, oh, it's so far ahead. I don't care. So, um, <coughs> I don't know what's going on all of a sudden my throat. <coughs> So, um, yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, for lure coursing, you guys have to go train at a gym. Um, for just competitions, that's like the park and stuff. <laughs> Obedience trial, obviously, that's going to be like right in your own home. Pets can learn up to three tricks a day. Um, got some really cool tricks this time. Um, like Lucky here pretty much knows all the tricks. And they tell you which tricks. And they tell you how to get your dog to do that trick and stuff and how to teach them. Um, I've found that... You only have to tell a dog three times. I don't know if it's just with Lucky and Yena. I don't know if I've lucked out. Because I know in the other games, like, you've had to tell your pets, like, how many times, you know, before they actually learned a trick and stuff. Um, with these, it seems like three successful times and stuff, and they learn it. But um, the first tricks, the first three tricks that they have you learn are sit down, left paw, and right paw. Um, and you have to learn those in order to actually be entered into the first obedience competition. But the other tricks that they have are lie down, play dead, spin, roll over. I'm not sure what this one is. Probably beg. I haven't taught them this one yet, so. If it loads, there we go. Oh, sit up. Okay, it's sit up. Um, going back, come on. Okay, you can teach them to sit up, you can teach them to jump. Say please, which is really cute. They lay on their back and they wave their arms and stuff. It's something my dog did in life, so I had to teach him that. Um, and then cheer, which is another thing my dog did in life. They stand on their hind legs and they go like this. It's really, really cute. So I'm such a dog person, so I had to teach him that too. And then another thing my dog knew in life is how to sneeze on command. Yes, my dog seriously didn't know how to sneeze on command. I don't think that was on purpose. Oops, just gotta... Okay, sorry, I got an email from one of my professors. Um... So, you know, you can hear Lucky and Yana playing in the background. Um, yes, my dog knew how to sneeze on command. I don't think that was necessarily on purpose. We would teach him, we taught him how to say please, which was basically to bark and, like, he would wave his hands and, or wave his paws and stuff. But a lot of times when we told him to say please, he would indeed sneeze. So I'm not sure if that was necessarily a taught trick or not. But yeah, you, on here, you can teach your dog to sneeze, which is pretty amusing. Um, yes, hi, hi. Yes, they're, sorry, my, um, that's another cool thing is, like, I was, um, talking with one of my friends yesterday, and I kept mentioning the word lucky, and every time I did, yeah, like, here he is again, every time I say the word lucky, he comes up to me, he knows his name so well, um, for, oh, yeah, in this game, like, with the other games, um, you know, if your pet did a trick correctly after you told it to, you would pet them, and, like, that would kind of, like, get it um in their head that that was a good thing you know like that was the right trick and stuff in this game um you don't pet them you give them treats and stuff and like i said you can get treats from the pedometer feature um sorry lucky lucky is very playful right now he's he's he keeps uh hanging up on me hi wait let's see if i can get him to do a trick um say please that's on it say please Say please. Oh, he's not focused right now. Say please. Okay, fine. I know when that'll work for sure. Cheer. He's gonna do it. Yay! And that's cheering, and then that's standing. I better give him a treat for that. So he's very happy with his treat. Um, dog's happiness, like, um, if you go, like, to this screen, and then you click if I can do this backwards that button and you click on their picture you can see their happiness for the day right there um, I'm assuming it goes up in 200s every day 
So Lucky's at 670 right now. Um, I haven't had much time to play with him today. Um, so I've got like 130 more to go because this is my fourth day with them. Um, cats are like insanely hard to please. You have to sit there and pet them for like 20 minutes and then they, maybe you get boosted by like 3 points. I might, I very well might put my cat in the hotel and like just get a third dog and stuff because honestly dogs bring you money. You can take dogs on walks and they get you items. You can run them in competitions and stuff. Honestly, dogs equal money. They're more expensive than cats. Well, more expensive than, long, uh, than the short haired anyway. Long hairs are still pretty expensive and I'm not sure about oriental. I think oriental is about the same as the long hair. I'm not, I don't remember. Um, you know, just get a dog, you guys. Um, if, you, if you need the money, you know, if you're still first starting out the game and you want the money, start with dogs then you can do whatever the hell you want but my recommendation is seriously just get the dogs oh another thing um in the other games uh walk, you could only take your dog for a walk like every 15 minutes and stuff in this in this game you can take them out like as many times as you want and stuff like there's no waiting period or whatever and stuff you just gotta make sure that they're not like dying of starvation or like they're not super thirsty and stuff so you know just get them that and stuff and then you can you can take them on as many walks as you want like right in a row and stuff doesn't matter um and some other things very cute um Nintendo did a really good job with actually keeping certain things about the dogs like they're like you know like um some of the things that Lucky was doing before I got Mistress and Yana and stuff. Some of the things Lucky were doing was doing. It was like, oh my gosh, that is so typical of a Maltese and stuff. You know, like with the other games, like pretty much all the dogs acted pretty much the same and stuff. Um, I don't know if there's like certain tricks that are specific to certain breeds. I have not discovered that yet because I just got Yana yesterday. I just first got the money for her yesterday, so I haven't taught her that many tricks yet. Um, today I should be able to teach her more. I taught her her first three yesterday. Um, so, yeah, um, they, they did a really good job with, like, more personalities of the dog and stuff, like, I don't know, the Maltese actually do what, things that Maltese would do, so, um, or would you say Maltese's? Maltese's? I don't know, we'll say just Maltese. Um, it's pretty cool, like, it's, it's a good game, like, uh, they did a really good job, there's some really cool features for it. The only thing that I, well, like, obviously the qualms that I have about it and stuff, again, are, like, how hard it is to get money initially. Like, it's a lot more difficult than it was in the other games and stuff. Um, what else? Um, the dogs and cats are really expensive, which kind of sucks. Um, I liked that they added furniture to this game, though. That's pretty cool. Um, like, I have a dog bed and stuff, and I have a fish bowl. Oh my gosh, do my pets love the fishbowl, especially Lucky. Um, every time he comes in from a walk and stuff, he sits right by the fishbowl. And if you guys want a good laugh, I seriously recommend getting the fishbowl. It's something you can get from the recycling center and stuff. You just give them items and they'll make a fishbowl for you. And, like, I think they seriously, like, hypnotize your dogs and stuff. Because I'll see Lucky and he'll be sitting there watching all of a sudden and be like... He, like, falls asleep and then pretty soon he falls over and he's asleep, so... Oh, yes, I know, I mentioned your name, didn't I? Here he is again. I heard, uh, he's, I said his name, so here he is again. Yes, hi. I'm sorry, I love this game so much. I love doggies. So, um, yeah, there's that. And, um, what other things? Oh, if you use the AR cards, you can have your pet, um, actually appear to you in 3D. And then, depending on what card, like, this just makes them appear, like, normally. This makes them appear with a Luigi hat. I don't know if it'll also appear with a Mario hat. I've not tried it enough to see that. I've only seen Luigi hats, and I've tried like three times. This makes them have like wing hair in the hat. Um, Kirby sitting on their head with this one. This one they have Samus's helmet, and this one's just kind of ugly because they have like the ears and I, I don't even know if they have the flower, but they have like the ears of the yellow Pikmin. And it's like oh, okay. It, it, I don't know. It didn't look good. Unlucky. So there's that. You also have to use the AR cards for the obedience trials and stuff. I mean, it's kind of a it's kind of a cool idea and stuff for the obedience trials, but I think it's kind of a little bit unnecessary. For me, it kind of throws me off because I'm trying to watch what my dog's doing in 3D, sitting on my floor, and I'm trying to get trying to say these commands like in the same tones like he actually does the stuff. And I don't know. I, I think it's a little bit unnecessary. I would I kind of wish that it would have been like a um more like a um, optional thing to do it that way. I'm gonna have to go in part three, aren't I?